Exactly. And I think there's been a lot of evidence coming up with, especially in the impacts of human health issues. And this has been brought to the attention of this body as we've been discussing it today. The practical point is that that waste which flows from the land into rivers and ultimately ends in the sea slowly breaks down and it has multiple impacts. One, as many of you have already seen quite often, is uh, a large number of marine mammals, animals actually ingesting plastic or that macroplastic and actually con essentially getting their stomachs filled and suffering the consequences of that. A second reaction, which also has been discussed here, is the role of microplastics. Those plastics tend to break down in the marine environment into smaller pieces and then through that process enter the food chain. And what we see now is particularly, and this was brought up by many small island developing states mm -hmm. at the negotiations, is that many of them depend on fish as a major source of their uh, um, nutrition. And the worry is that by consuming so much that over time, there are potentially long-term health impacts that could result from this. So these are some of the issues that are coming through. The bottom line is that what we find is that plastic finds its way right through the entire food chain. And as your previous uh, panelists mentioned, it's really a life cycle problem, right from production to that use and then to the end of it, life sol solutions. And in all of those points, plastic leaks into the environment.